Hey guys, it's time for another beer. Yay! <laughs> um, it is October, and with that comes fall and Halloween, and I was hoping to make a bigger deal out of it than I have. Um, I was hoping to, to get more uh, beer of the season and things like that. I really wanted to go hunt for beer, and I just didn't. <laughs> uh, I didn't really have time uh, with, with life and whatever. But today I did go to the beer store and I was um, hoping to find a Samuel Adams Oktoberfest because uh, Drew recommended it and it's his favorite beer and uh, that pop you heard was my hip. <laughs> I'm old. Um, anyway, so, but you can't, I can't get it in Quebec. So and I, I didn't cross over to Ontario. I don't know if I could get it there, but I can't get it here. So, um, the guy at the store recommended I try this instead. Um, it's called Saint Ambroise, or Saint Ambroise, uh, Citroën, which translates to pumpkin. So it's the Great Pumpkin Hail. <laughs> Better before June 2019, so I think I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> uh, so it says, um, brew just once a year. The Great St. Ambroise Pumpkin Ale returned this falls to bewitch beer lovers with a savory blend of pale and caramel malts, hops, pumpkins, and spice. If you enjoy the out of, or out of the ordinary, this seasonal offering will be sure to please you. It's kind of hard to read because I got the glare of the, <laughs> the light and this sticker is reflective. You know, I like the, I do like the sticker. It's, it's kind of cute. Um, the, the guy didn't really give me much information other than it's a sweet tasting beer. And I, I don't know if you meant it's sweet, like good, or it's sweet as in sugar. So, <laughs> but I guess that will be my surprise. So, there it is. And, uh, though I did get one decoration for Halloween, I got a your opener is a little devil, he's got a little tail. So yeah, that's that's my big spending. <laughs> so here we go. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh gosh, it's darker than I thought it would be. Oh. All right. Um, so there it is. It's very brown. Not, not, not as dark as Coca-Cola, but in that range of caramel color, I guess. Um, foamy bit really didn't stay. Like, that sucker was there and then it was gone. Uh, it doesn't fizzle a lot, though. Anyway, so. I don't know what to expect with a pumpkin beer. I'm not a, I'm not a fan of, like, pumpkin lattes and pumpkin pie. I actually very much dislike pumpkin pie and um, I'm not a big fan of pumpkin spice so you know there's that. <laughs> I'm kind of stalling. Okay. I guess I'll do the sniffy thing. Cause... Mm. That just, just smells like sugar and beer. Oh, by the way, I've been <laughs> I've been looking at random um, beer reviews online, and uh, just because I'm curious, because people have such a uh, extensive palate, I guess they they like they've tasted they must have tasted everything in the world because they're describing being describing things I've never even ate, um, but uh, I've seen a lot of people that sniff the beer. Will put their hands over it, and I'm never gonna do that for mostly because I'm a woman and <laughs> I wear lotion that smells um, like mine right now smells like shea butter and oatmeal. But uh, yeah, I I always I don't wear perfume or whatever. My hands always smell like something, so it would it would taint the smell. Um, I guess the obvious solution would be like don't put lotion, but. Still, my soap smells like apples and 
like my hand soap. So it's not going to happen. Um, so there it is. Anyway, so enough stalling, so cheers and happy Halloween in advance. Happy fall. I'm tired. <laughs> I don't want to drink it. Oh. Mm. Uh -huh. <coughs> ah. Where's the sweetness? The, the guy said it was sweet. Ah. He lied. It's not sweet in any way, shape, or form. This is terrible. Actually, I think it might be flat, like dead. Because this gives me like that weird feeling of, uh, you know, when been gaming for like three days straight and there's a pile of ke uh, like can of cola on your desk like Pepsi or whatever you're drinking and uh, you're not paying attention and you take a you know take a swipe from an old can and you regret your life like the no bubble that that instant oh shit something's wrong I got that from that like there should be bubble and there wasn't or I think there should be bubble it's not like I had it before, but that's that's what I got from it. <laughs> oh. <coughs> oh, yeah, no. It doesn't taste like pumpkin. Fuck. This is a five percent alcohol also, I forgot to mention. Anyway, so so there's that. It's leaving like um Almost like a peppery feeling in my throat, but it's not spicy. It's not like I ate pepper. But there's a, a tiny gap of like burning, <laughs> not like intense burn, but just like pepper burn, like it's very weak. So there it is. I I drank a pumpkin beer and I'm it didn't taste like pumpkin. <laughs>